guys, welcome back to Digi6 Covered. Appreciate you showing up. We are here with the Gunworks Sheep Mountain Shootout NRL Hunter Match here in Cody, Wyoming. So we'll kind of go on what happened. So basically you go in, you can see these guys here. They're basically getting their power factor figured out. But before we do that, we got some sponsors. Here's NRL Hunter um, banners, stuff like that. But it's super enjoyable. We got Vortex, always been a big fan of Vortex, and they always been a big sponsor. We've got Short Action Precision, Trigicon, MGM, and Gunworks. Gunworks was the master behind this. We got Shooters World, but they basically were the ones that put on the match. So before this, I actually had a chance to go to their train up. They have a beautiful facility where people can take classes and that kind of stuff but we're going to go inside we're going to register we're going to sign all our papers and here is mr travis he's uh, actually the the big dog of the nrl and uh, right here we put our name down and all the stuff what rifle we're shooting and what ammunition we'd sign the waivers and then we go get our rifle weighed and that'll depend on what band we're going to run on there so if we're running that one we're running a heavy rifle which is really only 16 pounds and under we got a light rifle there so you'd be you'd basically put that on your tri or your bipod your scope and your rifle uh, the yellow one's a team and i shot factory so i was shooting with orange zip ties but that's uh, a way for the ro's to know what division you're in but here's a really cool shirt they gave out it's kind of a sun uh, protector kind of long sleeve but this is gunworks so if you're not familiar with gunworks they're a company that makes quite a bit of stuff but they make uh they make full kit rifles so you can kind of just tell them what you want they'll give you the kestrel with all the dope in it and ammunition and everything to shoot out to a thousand yards basically guaranteed but you does come with a price tag so we are at a cody's shooting range and this is where we're just getting our power factor out we're actually going to be heading way up into those mountains over there and shoot the match in the most beautiful scenery probably that i've ever seen when it comes to shooting a match so hopefully you guys will stick around long enough to see that at the towards the middle to end of the match but for those of you that aren't new are you're new to this i'm kind of going through what's going on so Gunworks actually had on Friday, they had a nice beers and brats and everybody got the chance to walk the facility, see what kind of new stuff they got going on. But uh, being the big title sponsor, it's nice for them to uh, have the facility. But this is their manufacturing facility where they build lots of cool rifles and all kinds of stuff. So if you get a chance, check out Gunworks. Really nice guys over there and gals give you a chance to go in this place you can see some stuff that's for sale um, bags and stuff on the other side but a beautiful facility that they just moved in a few years ago but they got a lot of cool trophy animals on the wall to take a look at but they uh range finders binos they're building suppressors now all sorts of stuff but really nice facility this is where we had a chance to sit down with all the competitors bs the night before the match and it started early so if you guys aren't familiar this match started at 5 a.m in the morning so it was still dark but the reason why is we wanted to beat the rain a lot of rain more towards the afternoons was kind of the uh what kept taking place so they designed it around that so we actually started early so that we could get on top of the hill you can see just animals beautiful animals everywhere all over the place but we're gonna shoot up there somewhere and it was uh freaking amazing now that i've already shot the match i kind of know where the course of fire is but on the way to the match we were you know there's just animals cruising around having fun and all that kind of stuff so it was just beautiful so i show up this is where camp is that's where the pin is for google maps that's where the staging area is going to be located in the morning so i camp there and i'm pointing up we're shooting a lot of hills so at the beers and brats they were telling us day one we we're going to go to the top of the hill if the weather was okay and we're going to shoot down and then day two we're going to shoot up some of the things that make it kind of crazy is 
if you're not from around here and let's say you're elevation you're not used to shooting in this type of elevation it was 8870 was the the density altitude so living in north carolina in my the mountains i live in are just basically molehills compared to that so 1300 it was my uh it's about where i live so the elevation is quite a bit different than up here of course but the uh, the rifle does react a little bit different uh to this elevation so trying to figure all that out and trying to learn um, the difference is when you're shooting 25 degrees slope out to a thousand yards is quite a bit of difference. So if you look on your Kestrel, depending on your bullet you're shooting, it, it was about five mils difference if you're shooting mils. So I was like, I went into my Furies with the help of uh, another team guy. He was shooting and he's like, yeah, change it over to hcd or whatever it is and basically that correction takes place so instead of it you know it's it's really a thousand yards because of the angle it might only be you know 800 so um being able for that applied ballistics to calculate that is definitely going to help out my armband i used the same dope as i did for north dakota yeah it wasn't perfect but it was it was good enough to miss targets <laughs> So the biggest thing I got out of a lot of this was obviously the great people of shooting. A lot of new shooters to the NRL Hunter, which is really cool again, uh, but was the beauty of the mountains and just being out in the middle of, of this gorgeous um, scenery. So you can see we're in the vehicles now. We're headed up on day one and just look at what you get to look at the whole time while you're waiting to shoot. It is amazing. So we're going to go up these roads. We're going to get to the top of this cliff, basically um, just below the top of the cliff. And we're going to be shooting down. Every target on the first day was down. And every target on the second day was up. And uh, thank goodness for the double pull um, Skypod by MDT now. Uh, that's uh, really beneficial to have for some of these style matches where... You really need to get some elevation to shoot up. Um, having a tripod is very important as well. And uh, having some type of system is important. But you can see we're headed up. The sun is finally out. It's still early. It's like 6. Um, so they already went over the briefing. Everybody's getting to their stages now. Doing a little off-roading to get up there. You definitely needed a high-clearance four-wheel drive and uh here you can see the rifles unfortunately i didn't know anybody in my squad i had a chance to meet some great guys but i didn't want to ask them to uh video me because you know they're trying to do their best and they want to shoot and i don't want to impact them in any way but so i didn't get any footage of me shooting but i got footage of all this we did have a lot of uh, clouds that would come in sometimes and kind of pause it where the visibility was tough on the targets but just look at how freaking amazing this is so this is a lot of people's bucket list is to be able to shoot out in cody wyoming and you can kind of see why you can see those guys over there uh, basically in the staging area waiting to shoot but i mean this thing was a beautiful beautiful place to shoot at so hopefully if you get you're into this or maybe enjoy this kind of shooting or maybe you're a hunter um, this is definitely a good training for being a hunter um, I, me myself i'm not really a hunter but i enjoy the style of shooting and here's kind of uh, one of the targets at your staging area you got four lungs in one position it's dinner is dinny more and of course <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm beat tired. It is. Uh, I didn't even go into town to eat because it's like twenty, maybe forty it's minutes away. Much. So this was dinner, <laughs> and here's the morning of the second day. Everybody's meeting up, getting ready to shoot because five o'clock is early and five o'clock is dark. But we go over everything. Ros get everything in place. They get sent to their stages, and then we basically get set up so that we can start day two day two is a lot of fun day one was a lot of fun up day two of the but. nrl hunter here in cody wyoming and had some good stages had some bad stages yesterday everything's on angles so i 
flip the camera day around. Day two, we were at the base of these mountains, all the way down and around, and we shot up. So our targets were up there. You can see a white placard. That would be the start of the first target, and then you have to find the rest of them. But the elevation, or the angle, the slope, can really play tricks on you. But here's kind of my score. I got a four, six, a zero, which is horrible. Stage four got canceled because a target fell down. And then a two, an eight, a four, a two, an eight. And stage 11 got canceled as well. And then I got a four, a two, and a four, a six, and a two, a six, and a four. So I was down at the, kind of towards the bottom for factory division. We'll see what the guys did today. If they did better or shot worse, I know that the guy in first place for factory division was killing me by like 35 or 40 something points. So congratulations to him for kicking my butt. And a lot of the good guys shot really well. Everybody had a little frustration trying to find targets in some of the areas. But again, being able to travel, we were shooting a uh, density altitude was 8870 yesterday when we were up on the top of the hill. So living in North Carolina and it's usually right around 13, it is a huge difference. So the bullet is doing a lot. Uh, a lot of changing per se compared to your normal home range so getting out getting some dope uh, for these different locations can definitely be beneficial so you guys hope you enjoy buffalo bill dam this is a reservoir here we're going tubing boys and girls we are going tubing Hey Travis, quick wave buddy. First overall. Good job, Betty. First factory. Yeah, he killed it. Oh, 